I don't even know if I can pronounce it, but the Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Disorders is 900 pages. We're on the DSM-5 right now. And it discusses, uh, well, it actually creates all the diagnoses from, you know, depression to schizophrenia to shaky leg syndrome. So um, obviously for insurance reasons, uh, I have to be able to diagnose people. Um, but it's really interesting because what I found in the DSM is that there's actually uh, two types of mental disorders that get conflated. But when treating people, it's really uh, important to discern what you're uh, dealing with. So on the one hand, there's cognitive disorders. With a cognitive disorder, people don't see reality the way the consensus sees it. They are you know, talking to Zorg and from planet B or whatever. And you and I don't talk to Zorg from planet B. Um, so those are cognitive disorders when they don't, when people don't see reality the way we see it. They could, um, you know, be schizophrenic or, uh, you know, uh, delusional in some way. Hallucinations is a, is a, another thing that we call it. On the other hand, we have mood disorders. So if you go through the whole spectrum, um, and you know, uh, I say that human beings in our society are allowed to show a very small bandwidth of emotions. I'm going to say something controversial here, even more controversial than usual. Um, in our, in particular, what I've noticed in our culture is that we, <laughs> we don't like angry women and we don't like sad men. And so if, uh, if we have uh, heightened emotions, whether it's, uh, you know, anger or, you know, mania or uh, lowered emotions, depression and things like that, um, it inhibits us from showing up at our lathe or at our mill or on our bus or at our computer doing our job. And that's why the, the bandwidth for emotions is so small. So the first thing that, that I find really interesting is that in our system, the barometer for mental wellness, unfortunately, in those 900 pages is, can you work? There's a problem with that, right? Secondly, when you break down the DSM and you're trying to, you know, interact with somebody, um, you have to discern whether they're having a cognitive malfunction, you know, not seeing reality the way we see it, or if it's a mood disorder, and then you can discern how to treat it.